Hey everyone, if you are seeing my earlier videos, you know I have been building a CPU rasterizer from scratch. It's working great, but testing it, that's where things get annoying. Every time I want, I want to tweak a material, swap a model, or change my render settings, I end up editing configs or recompiling the entire code. And honestly, it sucks. So I finally thought, why not build a UI to test things faster? So the plan was simple, use an existing UI framework and plug into my renderer. Done, right? I was already using Raylib, so naturally I looked at Raygui, the Ruby library. But turns out it only supports Go 1.08 and I am on Go 1.24. I love Qt. I have used it for almost a decade. Even built OpenGL demos with it back in the days. But when I looked at Qt binding for Go, it was last updated 7 years ago. So I was like, no thanks, I need to find something else. I also tried frameworks like Fine, they are great, but they don't give me the raw pixel access fast enough for a real time CPU rasterizer. So after a week of testing and crying, I decided to build my own Go framework from scratch in Go using just bare bone really. So what is even a GUI framework? Let me explain simply. GUI framework lets you place elements in the window like buttons, sliders, panels and take care of their alignment, resizing and interaction for you. So I started building my own introducing scratch. Why scratch? No idea. Maybe because PyCharm calls temporary was that. Maybe. But hey, it's open source. Link in the description if you want to clone or contribute. Here is how GUI framework typically works. You create a layout, define their alignment, add widgets to them, and attach interactive functions. And the framework takes care of the rest. I have implemented the three main layout types you see in most GUIs. Horizontal, Vertical, Grid. Each layout is a simple layout struct with customizable properties. And yes, you can nest layouts to build more complex UIs. Now the boring part. Let's take a quick walkthrough of an example. So let's take a look at this example. We have this basic UI uh, which I made with my scratch framework. What you are seeing here is basically layouts and the widgets aligned in it. Pink color indicates the border of the border of the layout. Now obviously I am drawing the in a debug mode, that's why you are seeing in, you are seeing this pink lines. Uh, otherwise obviously in a final UI you don't want to see any border or any debug stuff. So if I give you a quick breakdown, so here is our main widget widget which is getting created, which is this function. So what we are doing is we are creating a main widget, we are defining the layout for the main widget, we are creating a couple of nested layouts here, and then we are creating this widget. So menu bar, level explorer, render pattern, and the properties. Each of these uh, widgets then we are adding to this layout. So now here is our menu bar layout. Menu bar layout obviously don't have the title bar because it's supposed to contain menus and then we have this mid panel layout where we have level explorer, game view, properties, window and all of these are vertically sorry horizontally aligned with the mid panel layout which is here and then we have asset browser which we have defined here and it is basically uh, the child of uh, lower panel layout which is again a layout with the horizontal aligning with it. I am keeping it minimal, clean, I know this is basic, just a foundation. It's not fancy, there is no drag and drop UI builder, no glowing buttons, no slider with bounds but I do have a clean fast foundation built exactly for my game engine, game engine's need. And as I move forward with game engine development, I will be adding render setting panel, scene explorer, asset browser, etc. etc. If this is a kind of development content that excites you, smash that like button, subscribe to follow the channel. Next up, I will be integrating this UI into a renderer and building the real-time tools on top of it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next iteration of my game engine. Bye-bye.